Parker, welcome back here this morning on your Friday. Eyes will be on the sky in less than 24 hours from now for the annular solar eclipse. It's a subcategory of the partial eclipse where the moon blocks out the sun. But because of its position, the moon will appear small, so it makes a kind of ring of fire effect. And parts of western Washington might get a view of the show, too, if the clouds don't get in the way. This morning, we're joined by Trevor Knuth, a solar astrophysicist from NASA. He's live from NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland to talk more about this exciting time tomorrow. Good morning. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, when does this eclipse begin tomorrow morning and how long does it last? How long can people see it? So the exact time is going to depend on where you live. And so if you want to find the exact time for you, you can go online to go.nasa.gov slash eclipse to see the uh, United States map that we have. I'll actually show you kind of what time can you expect to occur locally because it will be changing depending on where in the country you are. Definitely. So give us an idea, and this is on your screen here, if this is the path of totality sort of. So uh, give us an idea of what exactly is happening here with this ring of fire effect we're talking about. Yeah, so as you mentioned, during a, a solar eclipse, any solar eclipse, the moon is coming in between the Earth and the sun. That creates a blocking effect, which casts a shadow on the Earth. During an annual solar eclipse, the moon is a little bit further away in its elliptical orbit, making it appear smaller instead of being able to block the entirety of the solar surface, you can still see sort of a ring of the outer edge of the sun peeking behind the moon, creating this ring of fire or annulus effect. How often does this kind of eclipse happen? The solar eclipses happen every couple of years. It really just depends on where the moon happens to be uh, in its orbit to determine whether or not you're getting a total or a annular. Um, but mostly those occur over the ocean because most of the Earth is ocean. So it's rare to be able to get these phenomena occurring mm. on heavily populated areas like we're getting this year and next year. Yeah, we're all going to be kind of gawking at this uh, moment if we get an opportunity to see it. Such a cool moment for everyone, brings everybody together. We'll be watching sort of for fun, but does NASA watch for any particular reason? Can this tell us anything in terms of research? Yeah, so solar eclipses are very interesting opportunities to get new insights into both the sun and the earth and how these systems connect together. For this annual solar eclipse, there will be three different sounding rocket campaigns where rockets carrying instruments will be launched into the upper atmosphere and near-earth environment to take measurements of the sort of local electron populations and other phenomena and see how these things respond to this drop in solar flux. Interesting. Oh, it's so cool, even though it lasts a few minutes, and we may not be able to see it here depending on the weather, but we'll definitely try, that's for sure. Trevor Knuth with NASA, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And thank you for having me. And if you want for more information on the eclipse, just text the word eclipse to 206-448-4545 for more information.